Brilliant. Uh, fun. Uh, impactful. Being able to work with a set of uh, uh, brilliant people. Uh, in my case, I'm, it is, uh, I'm particularly grateful to be uh, working with many of my former students, uh, for example, in the company. Uh, very rarely, I guess, as a professor, did you get to collaborate with your former student for such a long period of time after they graduate. And I'm very grateful for it. And obviously, the tremendous talent uh, within Flex Compute uh, is very exciting to be proud of. The simulations are real. They are what the world is supposed to behave. And I think at this point actually uh, probably cannot be emphasized, uh, cannot be overemphasized. Um, I would say almost any industry would benefit from it. And I think it's uh, in these days, in fact, I don't think it's unexpected because uh, uh, practically every industry is uh, using simulation very, very heavily. I actually think that uh, what we do, uh, in fact, in many, many aspects, uh, have a direct implication on some of the uh, more pressing problems that the world is facing, and climate change certainly is one of them. I thought the edge on an EM is a tremendous breakthrough. Uh, it's amazing to see something that went from being studied in the lab at AC Micro for, let's say, uh, five, six years ago uh, to a product that uh, many engineers have started to use. Uh, I'm very amazed by that kind of development. Well, uh, what's the right way to say this? Um, I would say to uh, enable the next industrial revolution. I would say either Schrodinger or Maxwell, um, in the sense that um, you can explain almost the entire world in that couple lines of equation. And that's just amazing to think about. In terms of general advice, I suppose that uh, I, I, would, I would say from my PhD thesis advisor, he actually never gave me any advice, but I saw what he did and I followed. And I think that uh, uh, perhaps it's the uh, best piece of advice I've gotten or pieces of advice I've gotten. You do what you can and you try to do extremely well and you try to understand, and you try to work on things that you can understand, and you try to understand them extremely well. And you are trying very, very hard to be kind to the people around yourself. Specifically for electromagnetics, uh, especially on FTTD, I would say one should treat the numerical simulation as a physical experiment. Uh, in other words, even when the result doesn't seem to make sense, uh, it is actually quite useful to think of them physically. And quite often one will generate important insights and sometimes even surprises about uh, both on the simulation and on the real world. Uh, I've been reading a book uh, called uh, uh, Riemann Surface and Algebraic Curves. So uh, it actually tells me something about photonics. Well, uh, I actually have not done much simulation lately directly myself, uh, but I've seen uh, people doing, in my group, doing uh, very interesting simulations on edge optimization, uh, looking at very, very complicated three-dimensional structures and uh, the functionality of those structures. Well, uh, there's one uh, for 
a bizarre reason that I won't go into detail. There was, uh, I somehow ended up in a hotel in Poland, in an industrial neighborhood that I ever, and I didn't even plan to go to Poland, but I ended up there. And I couldn't sleep in the hotel. I've been thinking about this problem of how to create non-reciprocity without magnetic field for a long time. And it was there that I suddenly realized what to do. And then Zhong Fu and I worked on it, and that became one of the more important papers that two of us wrote. So that was, uh, uh, and I still remember, it was suddenly dawned on me when I, in the middle of the night when I couldn't sleep, that it suddenly dawned on me what the right idea is. P. Intelligent. Uh, invisibility. Uh, in fact, in electromagnetics, people work extensively on this, on invisibility, and it's incredibly difficult to do it. So, uh, if I know how to do it, I'll be very, very happy. It just looks cool. That I'm not sure, because uh, uh, it will be very, very hard to put in the right initial condition <laughs> to get any historical event simulated. I think that would be an uh, impressive feat. I'm still not sure, because why would I want to simulate historical event? I want to know the future. Uh, sometimes I want to do math. Sometimes I want to do pure math, actually. Well, uh, one person that comes to mind is Herman House, uh, who was a professor at MIT when I was a graduate student. I did interact with him when, I, when he was around. Uh, I never actually understood what he was telling me at the time. And I wish now I can ask him again about what was he trying to tell me. I want to be there, I suppose rather than simulate it. Uh, so uh, if there is a way to go to Pluto, uh, for example, and they get to see it, that would be just amazing. Uh, again, I'm not sure how surprising it is, but these days uh, I'm taking classes to play pickleball. And uh, uh, one of the great things about it, of course, is for more senior people to play, it seems that way. Uh, but one thing I learned out of it is really uh, that you need to think a lot. You need to watch your opponent and really think about uh, what advantage you can take <laughs> against them. So that was a lot of fun.